What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new AEW Supreme Collection review on the AEW Supreme Collection Series Number 2 Kenny Omega figure. Now, the Supreme line has kind of taken the world by storm a little bit. I think a lot of people are very excited for this wave, the potential of this wave. I think the excitement for wave number two is a lot bigger than wave number one. I guess it's kind of even, right? You had the first series ever, but you got some probably two characters that maybe you wanted more than what Series 1 gave us. So that's kind of the balance here. But Kenny Omega is back. Probably my favorite wrestler in all of AEW. And we have him here today for the Supreme Collection. Very excited. We did pick this figure up from Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. If you guys would like to grab one, go over to there. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But here is the Supreme Collection Kenny Omega. Looking very good. The packaging is massive. It looks beautiful. And they got to compete with Mattel's WWE Ultimate somehow, man. So they came everything with this Supreme line. AEW Unrivaled Supreme Collection. Kenny Omega in the middle. I mean, as far as presentation, this figure rules man. I mean, it looks immaculate. I definitely like this packaging better than the Ultimates. I just like how crazy and over the top it is. But you have the AEW entrance portal from the stage. Kenny Omega down here. You have all the stored accessories on the side. You get some interchangeable head sculpts. AEW Championship. He is number three in the set. Image of him there. So if you want to do the bookcase style, you got Series 2. On the back is a beautiful image of the man. All out attire is in this thing or at least presented here in the packaging. Beautiful shot of Omega there. Watch AEW Dynamite. On the other side, you have the rest of his accessories, the alternate gear, AEW Supreme Collection there, and that is the packaging of AEW Supreme's Kenny Omega. So excited to crack him out of the packaging, man. I don't want to wait any more longer, so let's crack this guy out of the packaging, find out what he's all about, and see if he is indeed better than his unrivaled counterparts. So here is the Supreme Edition Kenny Omega out of his packaging. Do not mind the ugly masking tape on the left side of the packaging, as it's the only way I could keep that little plastic piece down, and it's a damn eyesore, so I do apologize. Nonetheless, man, this figure's kicking some ass right now, and hopefully it'll be kicking some ass in the future in a wrestling ring. Nonetheless, man, we're gonna run through the accessories of this Supreme Edition, compare it to some other figures, get into all the details, of course, but I am enjoying myself quite much, and I can already tell you this is gonna be one of my favorite figures of the year. Let's dive into all the accessories together Get started, man. Shut the hell up and do what we do. All right, guys, so diving into Kenny Omega's accessories with the Supreme Collection, as it is, just like WWE Ultimates, tons of accessories with the AEW Supremes, and I'm all here for it. I do wish that it came with a cloth good shirt, even though it'd probably stain the hell out of the figure. Who said that? I'm liking what I'm seeing here. The biggest thing about the Supreme Editions is going to be the alternate gear that you get, and I'm going to start off with those. Now, the gear that comes on the Kenny Omega out of the packaging is going to be his, yeah, I call it his heel gear, because you know, it kind of, this is what he broke out when he was a heel and he had the handlebar mustache, but it kind of looks like a gas mask or like a face right here, but it's just kind of like, I can't remember what they called that. My tattoo artist knows the name of it. Shout out to my, my boy Theo in Atlanta. Golden Anchor Tattoo. If you guys are around that area, go see him. Filigree. Filigree is what it's called. I, I looked up our messages because he told me it recently. So a lot of that like floral stuff you're getting right here is called filigree. It's got a lot of that going on. You get some gold touches in there, kind of an Omega logo right here on the butt. So you get the, the Omega and the gold, but you got the black and white and all these different designs going all the way down. It's kind of like floral or kind of, I don't even know what you'd call it, but you got like some animals in there, it looks like. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like Christian's gear on the sides a little bit. I don't know, you know, just kind of random different stuff. You get a reticle on there, gold, black, white, pretty cool gear, but not my favorite. When he debuted it, I was like, eh, you know, not my favorite, but it is cool to have it in figure form. Now, I think this is really where the money's made. It is the Demon Slayer gear. Now, I am not a fan of Demon Slayer, but this is some pretty badass gear right here, man. I love how you have the white and the gold and the blue. Really stands out nice. You got the dragon, it looks like, right here. Omega logo right there, which looks nice. Now, I do believe the green and black checkerboard right here is because of the main protagonist of the anime. I believe his name is Tanjiro. I could be wrong about that. I, again, I'm not that familiar with the anime, but I do believe that is correct. But you have the big Omega logo on the back right here in the black, which looks sweet. Love the white and the swooshes of the blues going through. is really, really sweet, and the gold just wraps it all up together, man. So this gear is really sweet. The kick pads differential there with the silver outline. Just sick as hell, man. We're gonna see what these look like on the torso when we cover the figure itself, but I love both gears. I think they did a fantastic job. And since we covered the gears here, now we don't have to cover them in the next segment of the video, but we will look at Kenny Omega's torso on each figure and, you know, we'll get into that or each each bottom part, I guess I should say. Now, I think another big part of the Supremes is the number of interchangeable head sculpts. You get four interchangeable head sculpts right here, and I like this one. It's kind of a pissed off, regular-haired Kenny, you know, 
with the mix of the blonde and the brown and the black kind of going there. And, you know, I like it. It's kind of looking up and to the left, and he's pissed off. I like that head sculpt. You know, that works for me. I think this has good likeness. And then with the same hairstyle, you kind of have him smiling and just kind of grinning, you know, staring straight off. So these are kind of the same hairstyle, and you get two of those, one happy, one pissed. And then you go to the other side, which is kind of like his heel look with the blue and black, and you have the handlebar mustache. And this is just kind of a, you know, just a straight face with his blue eyes. And then he does have the uh, kind of cackling there. So you get the heel cackle and the heel just straight face right there, which is pretty cool. But I love the blue highlights. It looks really, really good. And I like all four head sculpts. I think that all four of them look like Kenny. And they're all four brand new heads. So you can put these on your other Omegas. And it kind of encourages you to buy multiple Supremes to put on your other Kenny Omega figures. And we will put other Kenny Omega heads on this gear and, you know, kind of play with that when we get to the comparisons part of the video. As far as items, he does come with an AEW championship. We've seen this so many times. It looks pretty good in figure form and it continues to impress here in the video. What would this figure be without an AEW microphone? I mean, you guys already know how I feel about that. It is so many microphones we've gotten, but I'm glad that this one comes with another one. Gives you, you know, kind of adds to the pot. And the last true accessory before getting into interchangeable hands is his entrance duster slash vest. And I like this a lot. It doesn't hinder articulation. It's very similar to the Cody Rhodes, except it doesn't have all the, you know, it doesn't have sleeves. It doesn't have all the pizzazz, but it does have some nice sculpts in here. You do get the Omega logos on the shoulders. You get the star over there. I mean, it's pretty sweet. I like it. I like the buckles and stuff like that. You guys saw this on the figure already, but it is a nice little touch. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get one shooter hand on the right hand to, you know, shoot guys in the face. You have your interchangeable mic slash weapon or object holding hands, which look good right here. You know, just kind of that C grip. You get your interchangeable fisted hands, which are nice to see here with the AEW figure. Always nice when they throw these in there. And then you have the off hands for each hand here. And, you, you know, these could be hands on the waist hands. These could be waving hands. These could be like V trigger hands. These could be shooting hands, like, you know, the off hand that's not the main shooter. So, I mean, lots of options for this hand, but, you know, you get two of those for each side. So, taking a look at the Omega head sculpt and figure itself, here is the torso on the first heel gear. And we already took a look at the gear, but I do want to focus on the torso right here so you guys can see exactly what you get. We are going to go through the articulation, but here's the first head sculpt, the handlebar mustache with the heel look on the heel pants is what I'm calling it there. So, you guys can see the butterfly joints. Not as much range of motion as I feel like the Cody guy. Like, he can go back further, but the across is not as good. I mean, it's definitely good, but I, I feel like they could have probably cut it a little bit more, but, you know, you get some in there. We're not going to do the articulation at this moment, but you guys can hear how tight it is. It actually feels good in the hand and everything like that, but this head sculpt looks really phenomenal, and it looks really proportionate with this gear. I actually like it a lot here, so here's the full figure. I guess we can go ahead and go over the articulation real quick, and then I'll show you guys what this, which each gear looks like with each head sculpt, so you guys can kind of look at that, but he can look all the way down because he does have a ball hinge. The figure's arms can go above 90 right there. It can go forward and back right there. So look how far that goes back. It's pretty good. And then across is pretty good, I'd say. Again, the, the joints are relatively, they're relatively tight. I'd say they're tighter than Cody's were, and I, I like the look of that right there. Of course, you do get your bicep swivel and your double jointed arms. So, I mean, it's a really fantastic articulated figure. The ab crunch is phenomenal. You know, you can diaphragm swivel a little bit right there with the movement. Ab crunch is phenomenal. You can't you, you know, you can't waste swivel all the way around because of the technology, but wide open split sees, pretty good kick forward, upper thigh cut, double jointed knee, kick pad rotation, feet go up and down, and you get the toe articulation from Ultimate, so you guys know how that goes. And then, of course, you do get the ankle pivot or ankle rocker as well, so this guy can do almost any pose you'd like. I don't think you're going to have any issues with that or have any problems with him getting into any pose, but as far as the figure is concerned, and like looking at each head sculpt on each gear. Let's go ahead and roll through that really quickly. So there's the laughing cackling face head sculpt on the heel gear. There's the pissed off blonde streaked head sculpt on the on the heel gear. Here's the laughing cackling sort of blonde and black streaked hair on the heel gear, which looks kind of weird to me now that I'm looking at this head sculpt, but you know, it's still a fine look. And then here's that same head sculpt with the Demon Slayer style gear. Here's the pissed off Kenny Omega head sculpt on the Demon Slayer gear. Here's the smiley faced handlebar mustache on the Demon Slayer gear. And then here is the straight-faced handlebar mustache head sculpt on the Demon Slayer gear. But now that we've looked at every head sculpt on every attire, let's check out all these Kenny Omega figure comparisons. So for Kenny Omega figure comparisons, guys, here is the Supreme in the middle, of course, and then you have the Unrivaled Series 1A, the Ringside Exclusive Authentic Scale Ring, the Unrivaled Series 1B, the Unrivaled 4, the Unmatched Series 1, and then the Ringside Exclusive Exploding Barbar Deathmatch. How does this one compare? I mean, this one's the best one, all right? And I 
thought this was my favorite AEW figure, then this one was my favorite AEW figure. I think this might be my favorite AEW figure. I think it just looks so damn good, man. I mean, we've come a long way since this one, and I was si I was super hyped for that one, and I knew we could do better, and we totally have, and I think that the Demon Slayer gear is definitely my favorite. I don't know what head sculpt I like most, but I'll tell you what I do like, and what I want to see is I want to see what this head sculpt looks like on the Demon Slayer gear, and holy pajamas, that looks money right there. Holy crap. Yep, I like that a lot. Yeah, huh? I'm cooking with peanut oil now. Take this head sculpt off, pop this on here, see what this looks like. Yep, look at that. Still good. Always good. I mean, you could play around with this, man. You, you could do so many different options here without any trusty hair dryer or nothing. You could just do whatever the hell you want there, so that is all good with me, and then of course you could take the Unrivaled 4 and put this head sculpt on there if you want to. Look at that right there. Now you have a completely new Kenny, and I feel like I need to go buy 30 million. I mean, I already have probably 30 million, but you know what I mean. Here's the pissed off head sculpt. You can put that on the Unmatched Series 1. Look at that right there. You're going to tell me that's not good? You're wrong, Bradley. You're definitely wrong. How beautiful, man. I just love this. This is just awesome. I'm having too much fun. This is what collecting is all about. And then for your AEW Supreme Collection figure comparison, we also have the Supreme Collection Kenny up next to the Supreme Collection Cody. So, I'm liking that. I don't know where I put my Brit. She's somewhere. I couldn't find it. So, you know what, Brad? Here we are. At least there are two male figures, I guess. But maybe I can find it for the Malachi Black review. But damn, these two are just money man. I, I am just loving it. One last little comparison here, because, you know, reasons. Yeah, I'm digging this. I am digging this. One day. One day, we'll see it. But I think that pretty much wraps up this AEW Supreme Collection review on the AEW Supreme Collection Series 2 Kenny Omega figure. Again, man, really enjoying the figure. I love the gear. I think that the gear options are great, especially the Demon Slayer gear. I'm not, like, huge on his heel gear with the gold, black, and white. I wasn't too big of a fan when he debuted it, and he kept wearing it, and I was just like, yeah, man, this, this gear just isn't for me, but the Demon Slayer gear is fantastic. I love the colors. I think it looks really good in figure form. His tights look better in figure form than they do in real life, and I really wish that we could get some more gear for him in figure form. I can't wait to see more and more figures of him, but this Supreme is great. I love the butterfly joints. Love the head sculpts. Overall W figure release. I love it, man. I think you definitely need it in your collection. If you haven't gotten a Kenny Omega, what are you doing? But this one's great. I'm having a lot of fun with it. All the joints seem tight and pleasant. They don't don't seem loosey-goosey or anything like that. So, I mean, that's all around a W for me. Nonetheless, man, I think that is going to wrap this review up. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts on this figure down in the comment section below. Did you end up grabbing this? What are your thoughts on it? All those things, man. Leave, leave them down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Cannot wait for more Supreme Collection figures. Lucha Bros coming. We got more and more coming. I mean, it's just unbelievable, but shout out to Magic and Jazzwares for this beast. I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one. Crap!